Welcome to Squad Busters. Oh, I'm gonna grab this chest right there. And also, look, Dynamite has a gift for me. Dynamite, give it to me. He's got some gold. Squad Busters is Supercell's newest game, and they got characters from all the Supercell games, including some brawlers like Bo, Shelly, Nita, and B. As I'm recording this, the game is in closed beta, and by the time you're watching this, it might actually be over, so you might not be able to play this at all anymore. And so hopefully in the future when they actually open it up. But I want to take a look at all the different characters and kind of like showcase what they look like. We're gonna start off with the goblin. Now, the goblin's special ability is that when you first get him, he gives you seven coins. So like he gives seven coins instantly, bust eight foes for four more. So I'm gonna grab him. Look at that, all that different gold. That's so nice. Now I'm in this training area where I can actually like reroll for free until I just get a bunch of goblins. Okay, we are up to five goblins. <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, with all the characters, you're gonna notice these little circles above their heads that kind of fill up. I just killed a guy, so like the little purple circle is gonna slowly fill in. We'll kill these three guys, and then that circle, every single time we kill one, it goes up a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna kill this guy, and the circle's gonna fill, and I'm get all the bonus gold right there. <laughs> we are up to five goblins. This is actually really funny. About to activate the goblin special ability again. <laughs> it just like pops out like that. So good. Okay, now we've got our seventh goblin. <laughs> so now we're ready to go take on the boss. I don't know how this is going to go with the goblin. Okay, so he's going to spin like that. And then all the goblins are going to attack him. They're super weak. Like, <laughs> most of the guys would take would take him out way faster. But that's why these guys are so good early game and really bad late game. Okay, next is the chicken. And he gives three turbos for every single one. And each turbo lasts 50% longer. Okay, we got our first. Now we got our second one. So now we're up to six turbos. Oh, I just picked up some in the bushes. So there's eight. Okay, there's 11. Okay, I picked another one up from the bush. And now we've got 15. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. It's not making me any faster. But I want to know if the speed boost is going to stack with all the chickens here. Okay, we're about to see how long this boost lasts for. Let's grab our fifth chicken. There he is. We have 21 boosts. We're going to start right over here and we're going to run. Let's see. Okay. I think that it stacks. That is a very long boost. You can just run for so long. There's no way anybody could possibly catch you. Okay, they're super weak. They take a ton of damage, as you can see right there. Okay, let's see how five chickens do against this boss here. Okay, he's gonna come, he's gonna spin around. And I can I just run away from him. <laughs> and then they attack him. Oh, stay away. Oh, okay, they are not, they take a lot of damage. Okay, 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 but we can just run in there and deal some damage. Looks like it does not increase their attack, the speed, so they just go for it. We gotta use this healing ability because they do not deal very much damage. <laughs> they might take the longest to take out that boss for sure. Oh, I can still use my speed boost. It's not a timer, it's just a distance covered, so I can still run away. That's actually really good to know. Next is the Barbarian. He becomes an elite Barbarian after fighting a bit, which increases his damage and heals him, actually. Okay, so we got four Barbarians. The Barbarian actually deals a ton of damage. He's actually pretty solid. So look at that. I mean, look, there's just four of them. They, ju they just destroyed that. And we're going to kill these three. Let's see them all transform into an elite Barbarian. Boom. Oh, only th three of them? That's weird. Maybe this lone Barbarian just hasn't been able to kill enough. Okay, there he goes. He's finally there. They're just, like, protecting their weakest Barbarian. It's... <laughs> The regular Barbarian's attack speed is so slow that I can't even get him to transform. Okay, there he goes. He's finally transformed. And now I have enough coins to get a sixth one. Okay, we have six elite Barbarians. These guys are going to shred this guy. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. You know what? That actually wasn't quite as intense as I thought it was going to be, but that was pretty good. Okay, next we got Greg, and he chops trees for loot. That's his thing. That's what he does. So here's what it looks like when one Greg chops down the tree. Takes about four swings. Here's two Gregs. That takes two swings. Here is three Gregs. Again, two swings. Okay, four Gregs. I'm hoping they'll just do it in one whack. Yeah, there's the tree. It's gone. Each tree at least contains some gems, which is why Greg is really good for early game, but he struggles in late game because he doesn't do very much damage. We got five of them right here, and it just takes quite a few punches. Six Gregs. This tree does not stand a chance. It's just gone. <laughs> Don't ask me why he has an axe to chop down trees, but when he faces off against enemies, he just punches them. Like, boom. Oh, the, see, look at that. That's awful. Okay, let's see what he can do against this boss right here. I'm just going to face tank it. They're trying, right? They're doing their best. Look at this. Oh, it's so bad. Even if you hit the rage button, 
Uh, the rage actually helps, but yeah. <laughs> up next is our first brawler, okay? He busts five foes, and that charges up his super, which is a piercing bullet storm. Okay, so right here is his regular attack, just shoots him just like that. But then here is his bullet storm, and it pierces through enemies and deals a lot more damage. Obviously, when you just have one of them, it doesn't seem very impressive. <laughs> but if you have five of them, it gets much more impressive. These are regular attacks right here. I'm not even using his super yet. <laughs> okay, his super is charged up, and look at this. This is so great. <laughs> it just strikes through all of them. Okay, and here it is again against the boss, and why did I feel like that was going to be more impressive than it was? <laughs> Next is El Primo, okay? After he busts four foes, then he does a jumping slam attack. As you can see right here, he doesn't deal a ton of damage, but he's more of like a tank than anything, and these three will actually charge up his super. He, they, I don't know why I attack him just one at a time, but then they just jump on him, which actually stuns enemies for a little bit, which is really good for chasing them down. Okay, and the nice thing is, is that he can actually jump on them and completely stun them. Oh, it looks like it actually continued. That was weird. We're going to heal up, and he's just going to attack them. And, you know, not the highest damage, but still very good, especially when you have his super chaining after over and over and over again. He's really good. Okay, next we got Dynamite, and Dynamite is pretty a straightforward attacker. He just deals area damage, and a lot of it. Like, look at that. That's actually insane. These little guys right here, they don't stand a chance. They're just gone. <laughs> okay, with five of them, I'm pretty sure I can two-shot this guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> damage is crazy. And now that we got six of them, we are ready to take on the boss. Okay. <laughs> That's just really good. Check this out here. The boss obviously deals a ton of damage, but we do way more. That's just nuts. <laughs> this is so satisfying. Next, we got the medic who heals the squad continuously. He's going to take a little bit of damage here. And then, see, you can just see this little healing that he does over time. It's actually really good. The healing from one of them is really good, but the healing from two of them is even better. In fact, like, this guy just takes damage and like they're just healing he can't even deal more damage than two of them can do this guy's gonna just like attack them and as soon as they take damage they're just like healed back up they don't deal a ton of damage themselves but you know what it's actually fine because having one on your team like honestly in an actual match i love having one medic on my team a lot having five medics is a little bit just insane i don't even know how well this is gonna go though he's gonna use his ability they're taking damage he look at that they just like healed through the entire thing that's insane and their damage output's not, like, awful. I mean, it's fine. Next is the Hog Rider. He moves faster in tall grass instead of slower. And the really nice thing is that it actually benefits all of your friendlies, so, like, you just move really, really fast. But I don't know what happens if you have two Hog Riders. Okay, are we gonna get even faster? Let's see right here. Hmm. I don't know. Here's three Hog Riders. I'm not- I think that you get even faster. I'm not seeing it, like, cut right after, like, you guys are seeing it, so it's hard to tell. Okay, four Hog Riders. They seem pretty fast. Their damage output's pretty okay. It's just nice to have one hog rider on your team so that you can either, like, hunt down enemies or, like, run away from them. And when you have five of them in the grass... This is really fast. I can't tell. I think this is the normal. I don't know that it actually stacks. So there might be no reason to have multiple hog riders except for the fact that they look so cool. Here they are against the boss. And, yeah, their damage output's actually pretty low. Definitely a utility character that you would want to have just for that extra speed in the bushes. They couldn't even attack me for his second ability, so interesting. Okay, next we got an epic. This is the witch, and she summons skeletons, and her skeletons get 15% more health and damage when you have her, like, star ability or whatever. And now we got two little sets of skeletons going after enemies. Oh, this boss is just gonna shred through them, though. Look at this here. He's just gonna eat through them. They're still actually dealing a fair amount of damage to it. Look at that! I only have two witches. Interesting. Okay. They're all gone there now. Okay. Four witches. They are all going after this guy. <laughs> Look at this. So many skeletons. I wish this guy respawned because that would be awesome. We've just got a little army of <laughs> skeletons just waiting for somebody to spawn. Okay. There we go. We got our five witches. <laughs> They're just spawning skeletons. There are too many entities on this map. So it's starting to get a little bit laggy here. <laughs> it won't even spawn enemies because there are too many here. So I'm just running around spawning skeletons everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's starting to get laggy. It's not too bad yet. You can see them just like slowly expanding from the middle. They're just getting slowly pushed out because there are so many skeletons. It's really 
getting kind of laggy here. <laughs> the witch is actually one of my favorite heroes. I love picking her every single time I get a chance to. Next is the heavy, and he makes ranged units in your area attack 35% faster, which I think actually stacks. So he himself gets this 35% like buff or whatever. The, the unfortunate thing is that he actually deals very little damage. All right, that took a real long time to get to him, but I got two of them here. Now let's see if they actually buff each other. I honestly don't know if I can tell. Okay, we got four of them now. Is that going to be faster? I, I don't know that he's attacking faster. I don't know. Clearly, he's not meant to be played like this, where you have multiple of him. <laughs> also, his spread fire is, like, actually really bad if you take a look at that. Like, so many of those bullets miss. Okay, but with five of them and against a bigger target like this boss, I have a feeling that's not going to be as much of a concern. Well, I guess unless he's moving like that. Yeah, okay, they're still missing a lot. But now, all of the bullets are hitting. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they're all attacking 35% faster. I think that this buff might not actually stack. Up next is Bow, and he does double damage against monsters. So a single bow will actually come and one-shot these guys. Like, it's actually really useful. Even just one of them against this guy. Like, look at that damage. He's, like, actually shredding through it more than, like, a lot of these groups do. And with three of them, you can just get rid of them really fast. I wonder if they'll all target a different enemy, though. It looks like, actually, they targeted the same one, and one of the arrows just pierced through it. So that's interesting. Okay, four of them. Dude, one shot it. That's so good. Okay, but now we've got six of them. I'm actually really interested to see what they do with this guy. Dude, look at that. They d Oh, that was so fast. That was ridiculous. That was by far the best for PvE. Next, we have Shelly. She busts five foes, and then she shoots out her super, basically. Okay, so here are some regular attacks from Shelly. She just shoots like that. Okay, but here is her super against these three enemies. Boom. <laughs> it just shreds through them with only three Shellys. Okay, I've got six Shellys, all of which have their super charged up. Let's see it all in action. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> I was expecting even more knockback, but you know what? That's fantastic. Now we got B, who can grab hives to get a circle of singing bees that deal damage around them. So this is B by herself. She actually deals a lot of damage. But then she can kind of go pick up this backpack type thing, and this is a circle of bees that deal damage around her. I don't know. Let's see here. Do they have to touch... It looks like the bees actually have to physically hit them, but it looks like... Okay, that, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, now I've got two bees right here. They just deal a lot of damage. Look at this. They just like, boom, pop them. Now, what happens if I hit two bees and I pick up two backpacks? Like oh! Well, <laughs> I probably should have guessed that. <laughs> so the bees will both deal damage to him. Very cool. And plus B is going to deal damage to him. Okay, so now I have five bees, and we're going to go grab these two backpacks... Okay, we got that. Are these gonna respawn? I don't know if the backpacks will respawn or not. Sure, you can look at the circles on the bees. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got four of them now. Okay, and there's our fifth backpack. So, <laughs> I mean, bee just does a lot of damage by herself. Let's see this happen right here. Okay, the bees, yeah, the bees just go and deal a bunch of damage. I want to see this against the boss. Things can still get inside the circle without actually dealing damage. The bees, it looks like, don't actually deal a ton of damage, but B herself actually, like, look at that. She's actually shredding through that boss really quickly. That's actually really cool. Next, we have Nita, who summons Bruce to defend the squad. See, she just starts out with one little regular Bruce, and she's actually pretty strong with him. But you get two Nitas and two Bruces together, and it's a party. With only three Nitas, you've pretty much already got a super strong squad. <laughs> look at this here. They're just gonna wreck through that guy. <laughs> okay, five Nitas, five Bruces. We've got this massive death ball. Like, look at this. these three little bots. They have no idea what's about to hit them, apparently. Oh, they all targeted the same one at a time. Interesting. Okay, we have six Nitas, six Bruces. Let's look at this here. <laughs> okay, let's see this against this boss here. I'm not even gonna dodge him. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> We're just eating through it. <laughs> all of that damage. Oh my gosh, that's actually really awesome. Now, those are actually all the heroes that I have, but there's a couple of other ones. The Barbarian King, he makes your melee units faster, very similar to, like, the, the Heavy does for range units. Then you have the Battle Healer, who fully heals and boosts your squad by 400 HP. I have barely seen the Battle Healer played at all. And same thing with Max. Boosts squad speed by 35% by f busting down foes. I wish I could show them all to you, but the bait is almost over, and I don't have enough time to actually progress that far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though you probably couldn't even play the game if you're watching this right now. But make sure you subscribe for future Squad Buster news and uh, check out this video right here. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by. We will see you, hopefully someday, in Squad Busters.